Hey YouTube, JT Serenity Farms prepping here. This is T behind the camera today. Yeah, they're going to be able to tell. So, I was reading a good article today by Bill White, The Coming Collapse. And the title of the article was Prepping Out of Fear Versus As a Way of Life. The example he used was there's a guy working at his shop in the middle of town. His wife calls him on the phone frantic that there was a gas leak explosion a couple blocks away and she's afraid that his building is going to blow up and she would like him to go sit in the car. So he calms her down, tells her everything's okay, closes up shop and goes and sits in his car. So he sits there for about a minute thinking that his wife's freaking out and he's perfectly safe. So he realizes he's wasting time so he googles the, the quickest way out of town where there's no emergency vehicles and he drives home and within five minutes he is safely outside the suggested police emergency evacuation zone. Okay. So the point of that for the author was the guy was trained in survivalism. His wife was not. She reacted out of panic and he reacted out of common sense, what's my next step and I'm doing it and I'm safe. Okay, the situation, the roles could easily be reversed. But the point of it was where we're at now with this beer virus hysteria. <clears throat> we all know someone who is prepping out of fear while we, as long-term preppers, we prep as a way of life. The issue that prepping out of fear creates is we live our lives normally, we don't do a thing until something is happening that scares us and then we go panic buy. But we only buy what's needed for that particular event and how long we're told by the media that we believe it's going to last. For instance, panic buying for this beer virus hysteria. People are eliminating all the food off the shelves, the water, when, according to the authorities, all we really need for this is some hand sanitizer maybe a few masks and some gloves, and basically to stay out of public facilities and crowds. But yet people are buying 500 rolls of toilet paper for what appears to be a 28-day event. As soon as it's over, they're back to normal. We, as preppers, should already be covered for a 30-day event just in our pantry without ever touching our stockpiles because we're not planning for short-term events we're planning for the long term if this beer virus hysteria goes longer than we think about the only thing we're gonna have to take from our preps might be some hand sanitizers, some masks, some gloves, a Tyvek suit, things that we already have. We don't run to the store right now and panic by those and pay uh, high price gouging prices. We'll go after it calms down and everyone else has gone back to their sedentary, normal lives and we'll restock what we used. So, the bottom line with this very short video is 
as a prepper, have you evaluated how and why you go about prepping? Do you prep based on what you hear and see daily in the news? Or are you prepping for long term and it's a way of life? Every time you go to the store, you buy a couple extra cans of soup or pork and beans or a bag of rice. Most of us, I believe, are preparing for at least a year, hopefully two, maybe three. So, think about this the next time you go to the store, or think about someone who may be getting into prepping, and ask them, are you panic prepping, or are you doing this as a way of life? Hopefully, you'll get an honest answer, and you can convert someone into, from a panic prepper to a long-term survival prepper. All right, JT, signing up.